Father, we thank you for this very moment. We praise your name for another yet opportunity to stand before your throne. Lord, we ask that uh, what I'm going to say during these 25 minutes of this program, that it will come from you. Lord, we ask, O oh God, you will glorify yourself in this program. Your plan and your purpose, which you have planned from the beginning, Lord, bring it to pass in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, have your way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I welcome you once again to another uh, teaching of uh, the rules of heaven. I'm right now from the Majesty Christian TV Network here in Amsterdam. Uh, we have receiving a lot of uh, um, good comments about what the Lord is doing through this teaching. I want to encourage you that you will take this message seriously. Um, I've said in my previous teaching that this is not a man-made teaching. The, another word, I have explained that from 2008, the Lord Almighty and the angels are the ones that are teaching me. Of course, some people were very angry because of this issue, saying, uh, who am I? But believe in me, this message is not a fake. Peter said, uh, we are eye witness of his majesty. Uh, you are going to see more, many months and years to come. Uh, this is just a foundation. Because the church of Christ, worldwide, they are operating uh, below 40% of installed capacity. If the church will remain as it is as now, uh, I can ask you that I can assure you that uh, many people faith will be diminished because the church is failing. People are yearning to see the power of God. But what are we seeing today in our churches? A massive backsliding, defeat from the ministers to the members of the congregation. God is Almighty God. He is the one that directed and direct his own job. At this time, uh, I consider myself one of the faithful few or lucky person that the Lord has picked up to show uh, the world the mystery of the Almighty God. This information, they are hidden from man from many generations. All these things that in the Bible, you know, Bible is a code. Bible call it a well of life. You cannot go beyond where you are if God have not revealed it to you. Uh, last time, uh, I talked about the head of Christians. If you look at the church today, that uh, there is a um, serious head problem among the Christendom. Pastors are getting cancers. The ministers are getting incurable diseases. Uh, we are all queuing. To see the doctor like the unbelievers, and yet we prophesy, uh, we prophesy about the power of the Holy Ghost. We talk about the blood of Jesus. We quote all the whole sc uh, the scripture. Pastors are divorcing. Pastor children, many of them, you can, if you put their children in their ministry, you put them their ministry aside. There is, uh, you know, you see a great disappointment tears and the pain in the heart. Why? Because it seemed that uh, the minister had come to the end of themselves. But I want to tell you, the Lord have activated another channel. Um, I will be focusing this um, evening the health of Christians. In fact, it's a conclusion. I told you that I'm not here to preach, I'm to teach. But the challenges I, 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 I have is because of time. You know, you can support this program. You, you know, even uh, I need enough time. Because if you want to teach, you need enough, enough time. I want to give you information on how you can live a Christian life uh, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, uh, 52 weeks in a year. I'm not telling you that you are not going to seek. You are going to seek because of the nature of our body. And uh, when you seek, you understand. When you, when you have problems, instead of you running to the doctor, uh, you just pray. But if you don't know what is wrong with you, you'll be spending your money. And you can use that money 
to support the work of God. Uh, pastors, they can support this program. Uh, even the um, uh, Majesty Television Network, they can support this program as well because this is a project of the Almighty. It's my desire to come here even every day because what the Lord has given to me, no pastor under the sun that does not need this ministry. That is what the Almighty God have told me. This does not come from any man's archive. It does not come from uh, any man's uh, uh, institution. In fact, I tell you that you are going to hear more. I want to plead with you. Don't give up. Another revival have started. So, I'm laying foundation because you cannot fight a war when you are beaten. This 21st century, let me tell you the plan of the Almighty, is a century of the youth because God is angry with many, many pastors. They have their name here on the earth, but in heaven they are not known. I encourage you, pastor, go and check your record whether you are still alive in the throne of the Almighty. Secondly, it's a, it's a, a century of warfare. Pastors are preaching recycled messages. Think about it. Many pastors will offend it when I mention this. Every day we are talking, every week we are talking about don't still love one another. Do repeating messages. Uh, people that are working, their, their bosses do not keep on repeating one thing um, a week need to week, month need to month, year need to, need to year. If you are like those uh, slow uh, uh, um, uh, workers, uh, the boss is going to sack you. Uh, the same thing inside the church. Think about it. We are preaching the same messages. The church becomes dull. People want to see the action. They want to see the word of God alive. That is another, an, another one. Another point is deliverance. I'm not lying to you. Between 60 and 70% of church population worldwide need deliverance. I'm not exag exaggerating. Pastors need deliverance. Even deliverance ministers. To be free is one point. To be free indeed is another, another point. So, this is a foundation. I talk about uh, Satan most commonest killer's uh, weapons. No sicknesses. You know, most times we attribute our diseases and sicknesses to um, witches and wizards. Of course, I'm not talking of a common sickness or diseases. If you uh, consume a, a, um, expired food, there's tendency that we are going to have some kind of stomach discomfort or maybe you over labeled yourself or you hit your foot against a stone i am not talking about those things those are natural normal diseases because our body is meant to bear those pain i'm talking about sicknesses and diseases that defy medical solution you know reoccurring happening these things have been destroying you and destroying your family as a result of that your faith is growing weak and low. Uh, Satan most commonest, the most commonest is arrows. Yes, many people know about arrows, but they don't know how it works. I have, don't have the time to give you laboratory explanation, details. Now, another one is slime. Another one is a powder. Another one is projector. I talked about this uh, last uh, message. So, I'm going to conclude in this uh, phase. After that, I'm going to move into spiritual warfare. So that you will not be wasting your night vigil for in vain. Many pastors spend 80% investment. They get 20% return. But I'm going to show you how you can invest 20%, you get 80% result. How you can control your community, control government. Control, uh, you know, you understand when Jesus said, Behold, I give unto you power. I'm going to show you the reason. Why did Jesus give us power? Why did Jesus did not continue? Why not the angels? So, arrows, slime, powders, and projectors. Uh, if I have time in future, I'm going to give you duties. I've I'll be calling pastors. If you want to build 
a strong church that Satan will find it difficult to break in. If you want to build a strong home, that your home become a defense city. If you want to be a pastor, that you will not be afraid of anything. Many pastors hear about witches and witches, uh, wizards, they'll be afraid. If you want to control, if you want to rule and govern like Jesus, uh, just make an appointment. You just need it for information. The Lord sent me. You don't need to pay money. But we are a self-voluntary uh, offering. That's what the Bible approves. Don't be afraid. God has given you power over Satan, over witches and wizards. In fact, witches are the weakest army of Satan. There are powerful armies that are hidden from the church. Song of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 15, he said, Remove the little forces, for our, our vine are tender. You know, um, English war said, Prevention is better than cure. This ministry that Lord gave to me is to show you why God said, do not do this thing. If pastor is aware of this, they will not change the word of the Almighty. Solomon said, remove the little forces. Satan attacked Christian in two ways. One which I call right. That is, you ignorantly or deliberately invite Satan to attack you. Second one was an uh, unjustified attack. They attack us because uh, someone like me now, who is exposing him? The secret that I kept in generations, in ages, exposing him, is going to attack me. But thank God that uh, you know, me and him, we fight every day. I don't pray against witches and wizards. I fight against Satan every day. When he's planning, the Lord will be revealing to me. I go before him. I went before him to pull down his kingdom. John chapter, 1 John chapter 3 verse 8. Bible said Jesus came to destroy the work of Satan. The ministry of today's believer is to destroy the works of Satan. Not to be begging money. Not to be committing adultery, not to be stealing, not to be making politicians friends, not to be, uh, you know, weakening the word of God. Is to protect the word of the Almighty. James chapter 1 and to verse 5, throughout the book of James, it talks about our behavior, quarreling, arguments, uh, jealousy, unforgiveness. All these are the things that open the door. You can pray the prayer, the formula I gave you last week. It will work, but you are not going to enjoy it. Many Christians, I will let you know when I'll be teaching about warfare, that you may go to night vigil. You pray, you receive your answer. Why you are living, you can break that blessing and your problem will return to you. That's why some people said, I don't understand. I pray, 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 nothing happened. God answered you because you are ignorant. Now, I want to show you, the best is prevention. Prevention is better than cure. Why did the Bible emphasize much about holiness? Pastor doesn't know the danger of adding and subtracting the, the word of God. My eye have seen. I have been to where flesh and blood cannot be. I have been taught by the Almighty God and taught by the angels. What I'm telling you is I am sure that it's very, very dangerous to add to the word of God and to surprise. I'm encouraging you pastors, the minister of the, of the gospel, don't put yourself where God did not put you. I have told you, you know, go and crucify your reputation on the cross of Calvary. If you have only two members, even one, you are faithful. God will reward you mightily. The pastor that have 10,000 members, only 40% is the true gospel. If those pastors, if they make heaven at the end of their time, uh, those are the pastors the Bible will say, you will be saved, but your works will be burnt. 
because he did not honor the Almighty God. God is a holy God. Our natural queen, did we disobey them? Our natural king, do we disobey them? Who gave you the authority, you pastor? Who gave you the authority, prophet? Who gave you the authority of novacia? Who gave you the authority, bishop, to add and surprise me the word of God? And no wonder there's too much trouble in your, in your family. There's no peace at your home. There's no, you are, your children are, are more rebellious than the unsafe children. It's because you change need the, need the word of God. You disagree with the, the almighty God. Uh, Proverbs chapter 1. You read to the down. Bible says, because I call you, you, you refuse. I need to answer. I stretch forth my hand. You don't want to come. When your calamity comes, the Lord says, I'm going to fold my hand. Even I will laugh, laugh at you. Uh, but this is, uh, you can change. It's not the number of churches that member that matters. It's faithfulness. Because my eye have seen. I've seen a great pastor in hell. And the just and a useless pastor, people in the call them here, they are the ones that are sitting a high, a high bench in heaven. Don't promote yourself. Let God promote you. Come down. Honor yourself. Go to the throne of Calvary. Repent of your sin so that it will be well with you. Now, I put a few informations. <clears throat> How did arrows come to our life? Holiness, inside. Righteousness, outside. That is the key. It's not religion. You can give your money to the church, even buy a whole building. If you still commit adultery. Now, the importance of this teaching is to show you the punishment you receive immediately you disobey. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 2 said, Every disobedience and rebellion will receive immediate judgment. Repentance cannot save it. That this is what the pastor needs to know. Now, each arrow have I told you that arrow is have a message. When arrow is sent, is programmed with a lot of problem. Their traveling time. Uh, I, th I told you about this book, The Rules of Heavens. Uh, it's an introduction to all I am teaching. Now and hereafter, it talks about how the arrows come right away from the spiritual realm to our body. When you commit adultery, there is an arrow chamber in one of the satanic kingdom. All our names on this Earths are present in that computer chamber. Computer started from heaven. Video started from the realm. Both God kingdom and Satan kingdom. I'm going to talk about this in future. So when you commit an adultery, bell will ring. Your name will be appeared. Arrow, arrow will be released because it's programmed. Because remember the rules of heaven. Don't forget the rule, the law. It traveled within two minutes. 25,000 arrows if you commit adultery. 25,000. You know, there are people that say, well, after I committed this arrow, I will go to the Lord. I will fast for 21 days. If you are not a habitual sinner, the Lord will forgive you. But if you are the one that do it always, you take it for joy. Bible says there is no grace remaining in it for you. You are a rebellious Christian. God mercy has eluded you at that time. Until you go to the Lord to go and ask for total cleansing and deliverance. But that does not de deliver you from the arrows. And I told you one time, the maximum our natural body can carry is 12 million. Depending upon your strength. And when your body is full, you see all part of your bodies, you know, kidneys not working, blood is poison, intestines is decay, blood is not the uh, heart is not uh, pumping, you know, problems, you know, because your bodies are full with arrow. Instead of you going to the doctor, of course you can you can go to the doctor because this arrow, the more and longer they stay in your in your body, the more danger and damage they're done to your to your body. 
What did they do? They tried to stop the flow of blood. Your body begin to decay. There's a, a maximum year it could stay. They activated it to be demon. Then it become worse. If you kill, you get 30,000 arrows. Hypocrisy, 55,000. You see why, why churches are very weak? They keep on blaming witches and wizards. Of course, Satan they can say witches and wizards need to, need to um, uh, use this uh, weapon against you. But holiness inside, holiness, uh, uh, holiness inside, righteousness outside. You don't need to lie. You don't need to commit a secret adultery. Uh, pastor, all those girls that God had intro, you know, put in your care. To show them the way of heaven, you show them, instead of showing them the, the way of heaven, like a Pharisee, you now put a, a loading of sin. You are not going to the way of heaven, uh, you are going to pay heavily for it. Jesus said, I tell you the truth, anyone that offends this little child is better than a milestone, that is a heavy stone, you tie it with a rope, you put it on your neck. You throw yourself in, inside the sea that you will not float. You perish there. You are committing a deadly sin. Whether you are a pastor, man or woman, because everybody are doing it. You want to offend a child of God whom Jesus has died for. Whom Jesus has paid his price of cross or cavalry. He agonized and he, 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 he wept. You are fighting the Almighty God. You are not going to get peace. Neither your children, your sin will not be purged, neither by sacrifice or by blood, because your sin is too great to fight against the Almighty God. You are to teach those young children the way of the Almighty. Instead of teaching them, you are committing adultery. Fornication with those uh, little children, let me tell you, you have already purchased a chamber in the gate of hell. I, 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 I know many pastors in hell. When you ask them, what is the problem? They have say adultery. Fornication. I stole church money. The judgment has not yet come. They already, they wanted me to repent, but there's no way. I call upon you right now. Move by fear and go to the almighty God to go and repent of your sin. Because sin is deadly. That thing you do is sweet you. What look, there's a chain that hangs your neck and the anchor anchor in hell. Every second the chain is turning clockwise. You are going back little hell every second until you repent. It doesn't matter your title. Push that, that aside. Holiness inside, holiness outside. Now we talk about uh, wrong doctrine. Uh, when each time you preach a uh, wrong doctrine, you get 2,000 arrows. You see, you see why there's trouble? Arrows causes confusion in family. It can make your wife need to hate you. It can make the husband need to, need to hate wife. Arrow it can bring confusion that the house broken in pieces. You say the demons. Witches and wizards. It is your rebellion and you are, you are disobedient. You know the truth because you want reputation. You want uh, people to call you rabbi. Rabbi, anywhere you go, they bow down for you because you want to give them cheap gospel that never, never save. You don't do that. Preach the word of God. You are a messenger. The Bible is the message. You have no authority to change the word of the Almighty. You know, lying. You get 3,500 arrows. People say yes, use your number six. You are destroying yourself. That's why there's no peace. That's why you look very old at a, a young man's age because internally a, there are turbulence. You are fasting, buying holy oil. You don't need all those things. All you need, go back to the cross of Calvary. Stop telling lies. Tell the truth. If you commit a sin, that you want to send you need to, need, need, need to jail, it's better you go to human jail than to go to the jail of Satan. Now, jealousy. How much do you get? 65,565 arrows. You, you understand jealousy? When God promotes somebody, look at churches today. Churches is where we have a lot of jealousy. I don't understand why. God is the owner of the ministry. 
He the one that appointed many pastors, if those that have been taught, God called them to ministry. For them need to support them, they, they will write a letter to their member. Don't hear this person. He's not following us. He's a false prophet. We don't understand. They have not gone to the God Almighty. Need to find out. This teaching is new to us. Lord, is it from you? They are just causing division. Look at the arrow. 55,000. That is why there's no peace. No health. You know, I'm strong by God's grace. Because I take care of all these things. I don't talk evil on somebody. I won't be sure. Why pastor never happy? When God lifted somebody, look at Eli, an old man, who had ministered for more than 40 years. When uh, Samuel, God called Samuel, he said, Samuel, go on. He was not, he was not angry because his children were not obeying God. He did not say, why should God bypass me? I'm going to speak and need to Samuel. But modern day pastor, with uh, not their title, you know, they're always unhappy. And yet, they say that holiness preacher, they say that doing the will of God, I advise you, pastor, go and check your records with the Almighty, whether you are still the way you were before. Now, you talk of not paying your tithes. Eh? You, you get 1,433 arrows. The, the law, the, doesn't the law pronounce a judgment upon those people that are not paying tithes? Now look at um, uh, married and divorce. Just one, one million arrows minus one. Who are the person that get the arrow? The one that initiated the divorce. You go and look at the life of these people that divorce. Even pastor, don't be deceived by their suit or by car. Go to their private life, ask him, sir, how about your life? How about your home? If you want to tell you the, the truth, you understand that the man is in big problem. Why? Arrows. You break God's covenant. No peace. I will teach you in time need to come how all this thing work. You are able to understand why God said, don't do this. Don't do that. Only way to save yourself, you just say, Lord, I'm ready to do your will. Shouting, you know, you get 35,000 arrows. I mean, shouting with anger. And now, I, re I raise my voice as I am preaching. I doesn't get an arrow because I'm not, um, I'm not angry with sin, but angry with all those pastors. Yeah, angry with all those pastors. <clears throat> Angry with all those pastors uh, who are, you know, uh, polluting the word of God. Now, if you take care of all these things, I can assure you, you are going to live a very good life. And this is the message I have today for you. If you put all these things in, uh, in practice, you are going to see how your life is going to change. Instead of you spending time, night vigil, Praying that the witchcraft in my, in my father's house die in Jesus' name, uh, you may not get an answer. Simply, take, there are, Bible have outlined what we should not do uh, and what we should do. As you do that, the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Finally, if you want to support this ministry, you can call uh, uh, Majesty TV or you can call me with the address above there just to support this ministry so that I have enough time to explain to you what you need to know. I pray the Lord will bless you, bless your family, and bless your ministry in Jesus' name. Father, I pray that you will confirm this message with signs and wonder. Lord, oh God, that uh, any plan of Satan need to hinder this message, you remove it away in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. Amen.